Hello and welcome to a sort of Brettcast's personal story. So since I made that follow up to my Facebook marketplace experience I thought I would finish the story and tell about my acquisition of the 2DS I currently own. Again I will do this in a bit of a dramatic fashion and use random names for people. Here we go. So after I sent Tom that message to his personal Facebook account I closed the chat and then I deleted both that one and the previous one. After that I returned to the marketplace and began again search for a decently priced 2DS or 3 3DS. First, I found one of the older style 3DS XL that comes with Pokemon Sun and a Zelda game, their words not mine, for $80. It was a bit more money than the previous one but it was not too far away so I was intrigued. I hit the message seller button and sent one of those pre-made messages saying that I was interested in the item. After that I returned to my search but soon found myself at the end of the results with nothing else found. That seller had not gotten back to me yet so I did a search for 2DSS. The one that caught my eye was one listed for $35. I am Iadetla messages them, me, will you take $30? Jim, yeah. Me, does it come with all the cords and power on? Jim, it power on but no cords. Jim, the circle pad has a problem but otherwise the rest is good. Me, what kind of problem? Jim, it sticks. Jim, when you turn it on it will scroll through the menu on its own. Me, have you cleaned it? Jim, don't know how to. Me, and you don't have the charger? Jim, no. Me, well, I am going to pass. It's not worth it for me to drive an hour when I'll have to buy a new charger and fix the thing myself. Me, but I am sure you'll sell it in no time. Jim, well thanks anyway. Me, you're welcome. Thanks for being so nice. Jim, you're welcome. I ended our conversation a little sad that I had to pass. I felt even stupider once I looked up and saw that the chargers cost between $5 to $10. Oh well, I can find something else. I found and messaged a few other. One said their 2DS was pending pickup and another said they couldn't find it. At the time I was also on my computer and was talking to a friend on Steam chat. I asked him if it's worth it and he said that I will not find anything better especially with the chargers so cheap and how easy it would be to fix the circle pad. Realizing my mistake I went back to the marketplace, found a listing in my saved items and hit message seller. Me, hey, it's me again. I changed my mind. I didn't realize how cheap the chargers are and how easy it would be to fix it. So if you still can do the $30 we can work something else. It's now 1.44 am and I have not heard back from them. Earlier they got back to me in my Adetla but the second time I messaged them was at like 8.30 pm so maybe they're in bed. I assume they'll get back to me in the morning. I am just hoping that this person doesn't take me for a ride like the last one. Tom can go fuck himself for all I care. He's got no respect for other people and also can't spell worth a damn. One of his posts had a creepy photo with the caption which out lol instead of watch out lol, he even spelt nose nos I really need to stop talking shit about Tom but he just really pissed me off. So the next day, Friday, I wake up, roll over and look at my phone. I see that there are no messages from that seller so I go to the Facbook marketplace, find their listing, press the message seller button and press I am interested in this item. Strangely, I get an error bubble that says message not sent number 2 service temporarily unavailable. I've seen this before. I go to settings, apps, Facebook, storage, and clear the cache. I do the same for the mess anger app and then I try to send a message but I get the same error. I try several more time and nothing, plus I am not seeing anything in my messenger app as to if any of these are sending. I am going to feel really bad for the person if I am unintentionally spamming the shit out of them because I can't tell if my messages are sending. I restart my phone and then try again with same result. I go back to the marketplace and find another random listing. I find one and message the seller that I am interested in the item. I open messenger and see that this one actually got put in messenger. They eventually message me back that they sold it last night which I didn't mind because at least I know that my messenger isn't broken. 
maybe the person is just busy or whatever. After some waiting time I tried again and my message went through but it still would not show up on the messenger app. It's now 1.24 pm and I yet to hear back but I think I'll lay off for a while. It's odd that the first time I contacted this person they were quick to get back to me and now that I changed my mind they're taking their time. But, that's fine as long as they do get back to me. With how the weather is I am in no real hurry to drive an hour anywhere in 3 to 5 inches of snow. I barely want to go to work. Anyway, next update to come later. But I think I'll end this video here. Re. Like and subscribe for more. As always, thanks for listening and goodbye.